What is the most powerful weapon in all of Minecraft? Some would say it's the netherite sword, while others would argue it's the crossbow. However, both of these people are wrong. The strongest weapon in the game is magic. Welcome to 100 Days as a Wizard, where I'm gonna have to survive 100 days while being hunted down by two evil mages. Okay, I am a wizard, and I have to survive 100 days against those two, the Join evil us. mages. Join, Join our dark cult. Join the dark uh, side. <laughs> will I survive? I have no idea. Probably, because that doesn't... Scare me. Anyway, okay, here we go. The second I leave my wizard tower, they're allowed to start attacking me. Oh no, I got an idea. Here we go, ready? Go down here, and then please make it. Huh. Yes, okay, I'm on the move. I'm gonna start going this way. Here we go. They went to my tower. Why are they going to my tower? Why are you at my tower? <laughs> I don't know what the- <laughs> I didn't see that. That was terrifying. That was funny. Oh my God, an ice biome. Okay, these biomes stick. I need to get a boat and get out of here. It is the first few days as a wizard. I don't have anything, right? Basically, I'm not a wizard yet. Luckily, I have this book here, this worn notebook that has a bunch of different information on how I can become a wizard. And then we're gonna use our starter spell book to get some wizard power. Right now, I'm basically Harry Potter living under the staircase still. Get the heck on out of this biome. I don't want to be between a snow and a jungle. Finally, land! Let's open up our worn notebook and give it a read. Getting started. Spell casting. Oh. Let me read all the boring words. Basically, all I have to do is go ahead and craft this novice spell book, and then I'm going to start being able to cast spells. And to do that, we need a book and some basic iron tools. We got to start like every other Minecraft video. We're going to get mining. And boom, and now we just need a book. We need leather from a cow. We gotta find sugar cane. So we're gonna have to move from here. So let's just pack up our stuff and let's go find ourselves some sugar cane and a cow. Man, I sure hope no explosions to transition into a short advertisement to support this channel happen while I'm looking for this book. Oh God! Cross out mobile. The action game for your smartphone where you enter battle in a vehicle constructed from hundreds of different parts to complete exciting missions or Fight other players, defeat enemies, receive rewards, and become the coolest raider in the post-apocalyptic world. You have a wide arsenal of weapons and parts at your disposal that you can combine to create insane and powerful machines. Use machine guns, rocket launchers, laser guns, mini guns, and much, much more. Hover tanks, robots with flamethrowers, cabs with speed boosters. You can literally create anything you can imagine. Explore the world map and choose missions you prefer. In Crossout Mobile, there are both PvP and PvE game modes. Fight in battle against other players or artificial intelligence, but attack wisely because the unique attack damage model allows you to shoot the parts off the enemy vehicle, leave your opponents without any weapons or wheels, and then you can finish them off. Click the link in the description below to download Crossout Mobile right now. Did you know? The game is available for iOS and Android devices. Once again, you can download the game from the top link in the description down below. Make sure to enter promo code RAGIROCKY in the game to get these awesome bonuses you see on screen right now. Sugar cane spotted. Okay, we need to find a cow now. Sheep, you're still food. And a bed. What is that? Hello? Ah. Uh. Oh, oh, well, I don't know what that was about, but I murdered him. I feel like a cow shouldn't be that hard to find. Okay, here's a plains biome. There we go, some cows. Get over here. Pork chops. Okay, we got some food. And oh, well, there's some mutton over here. Hold up. Okay, food acquired. Now let's go ahead and let's get a shelter. Okay, so we're good on food now. We're at a little hole for the minute and we're in a good place because I think we might have all the materials we need to actually make this novice spell book. So let's go ahead and let's do it. Take this book, combine it with these four tools and we get ourselves a novice spell book. Okay, let's take a look at this thing and see what it can do. Okay, so the spell books in this are kind of complex. We can create our own spells from tons of different abilities. Now, right now we have what's called form and effect. So form is like, I want to do this spell to myself. I want to do this projectile. I want to touch whatever I'm doing the spell on. That's all that is. Effect is what it's going to do. It's going to do damage. It's going to break something. Then there's other ones later that can amplify those and stuff like that. It gets pretty crazy. So we're going to go ahead for now and just worry about what we can do right now. 
Right now, I'm not really looking to do harm to anything. So let's go ahead and let's set our first spell as projectile and break. And we're going to call this long range dig. And we'll hit create. Now, if I go to two, I can actually create another spell. So we can actually have one that does damage. And we'll just call this range attack create. Now we have a range attack created as our number two. And so I can simply switch between the two. So example, I want to get rid of this dirt. You'll see it'll do that for me. Now, you'll see the range isn't too great. Like I can't reach. Oh, I can reach the tree over there. What? Oh, okay, we're gonna need our damage spell here. We're being attacked by a phantom. Let's try it. We hit him, we hit him. Okay, there we go. Okay, we killed the zombie, nice. Oh, we sniped him, nice! Cool, so that is our first spell book. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, so we are officially a wizard. You're a wizard. Rai guy Rocky. We have spells and we can do things. This is awesome. I like this. Now I feel almost invincible. Honestly, I should. Though I should make myself some iron armor while I have the opportunity. Okay, let's gather up our stuff and let's get on the move. Oh my God, source gems. Look at all these. Okay, cool. We got everything I think that's going to be useful. Let's keep moving on. Okay, so let's read the next step in our worn notebook to find out what we have to do next to keep progressing as a wizard. So luckily, I did some research beforehand, and I, I kind of know what to do. Kind of. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's figure this out. So to do this, I'm going to need what's called a the glyph press. This is what I need. And you'll see to make that, I'm going to need some arcane stone. And to make arcane stone, I need to surround stone or any of the other types of granites or any of those and put a source gem in the center and I will get eight arcane stone. It's kind of complex. I luckily, I have some source gems and I do have some. I got rid of all my stone. We need to go get some more. Um, you make me my book. And voila, unspell Ooh, hey. Yeah. All right. Uh, I love how our projectiles are like the colors of our skins. Dude, that's perfect. You want to go fight Ryan? Yeah, let's, let's go teach let's, him a lesson or two. Let's teach him a lesson in existing. Okay, so we're getting the stone we need to make the arcane stone that we're gonna need to make the glyph press. But the glyph press actually isn't gonna work unless we have different items as well. So we're gonna need something called a mana jar. Here we go, source jar. So we wanna go ahead and get make one of these source jars here, which is simply done with glass and one of the arcane stone. Not too difficult, but then we need different items that are gonna allow us to get mana from the world. It gets really complex, let me show you. Okay, so what you need, it's an item called an agronomic source link. Basically to make it, you need two of those source gems, a little piece of wheat and two pieces of gold. Not too difficult to make. So we're gonna need one of these first. We actually luckily have almost all the ingredients we need except for the wheat. So uh, we really just have to go find that. So let's go get ourselves some wheat real quick. And then once we get ourselves the wheat we need, we will go from there in making ourselves magic wizard stuff. Oh, finally, oh, village. Yes, I see hay, yes. Oh, a temple. TNT. Oh, a god apple. Gouda sticks telekinetic fishing rod. I'm gonna grab it. I don't know what it does, but I'm gonna grab it because I don't I don't even need this wood, I guess. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of that was interesting. A lot of unique stuff, some of which I'm probably going to try, and I hope I don't die. Let's go to the village. Now let's go start actually crafting what we're gonna need to craft here. We'll go ahead and put one hay in the center, surround that by two gold, and then we're gonna throw two of our source gems around it. And now we're gonna have this thing called an aggro. I'm not gonna say it. Now the source link is pretty useless without the jar. So let's Let's go ahead, let's make the jar. Eight stone and one source gem. And you're gonna see we get eight arcane stone. It kind of looks like purpley bedrock. And now let's go grab some sand so we can make some glass. So now we have everything in place we need to go ahead and make ourselves our starter magic farm. On days four to nine, I finished the magic farm with a crazy magical item called a mana jar. Using this, I can collect mana that I can use to make new spells, make magic items, and eventually even make magical traps. Okay, so we have all the materials we need to pretty much get our next few spells and our farm is actually generated enough mana now to continue doing anything. Let's make ourselves the glyph press two stone like this. We need the arcane stone like this. And then we need an iron block and we need a piston and we get ourselves a glyph press. If we right click it, you'll see nothing really, nothing's happening. So to use the glyph press, I need to do the following. Okay. So to continue with the glyph press, we're going to have to also make what's called magical clay, which luckily is easy to make. We have almost all those ingredients at this point. We just need the clay ball because I haven't been swimming in rivers to get clay. So it actually turns out there's a river just up here. So let's quickly dive down and get ourselves some clay. There we go, we got ourselves some clay balls. So we put this together, 
this together, and then it looked like there was just two redstone. I don't really think it matters. And then we get ourselves a magical clay. Now let's take this magical clay over to our glyph press. See, it's now in there, and it didn't do anything. I, I, I apparently need other ingredients. So I need, I need to learn to make spells. Let's go to our tier one spells, and let's find one we want to make. Because with this thing, we can only make tier one. What would be a cool level one one to do? Let's try summon steed. It says I can summon a saddle horse that will vanish after a few minutes. That'll help me escape if anyone attacks. Okay, let's quickly get some leather, because that shouldn't be too hard. Let's just look around for a cow, and then we'll go from there. I see a cow. You're mine. Bunch of Okay, perfect. We got some food and we got the leather we need to go ahead and use this glyph press and get ourselves another spell. Let's go ahead and let's try this out. So let's take a leather. Let's throw the leather on top and it should get us our thing. I put it in. It's pressing. And look at that. Boom. Sprinkles the magic into it. It took from the jar. And you'll see it spit out the glyph of summon seed. So if I shift right click this, it says I unlocked summon steed. You'll see I now have a new effect. So let's go ahead. Let's create a new spell. Self. And let's do summon steed. Summon horse let's try this out and boom you'll see it used all of it but i summoned a horse now he has a uh, saddle on and you'll see that he likes me and he has there appears to be some sort of effect on him but this is really cool because i can summon a horse that can help me escape in case they attack me now i don't think they're gonna see that coming now we're just gonna try to get some more spells using our glyph so we can upgrade our powers and get stronger than the evil mages trying to take us out and that's gonna really help us survive till day 100 let's figure out some more spells that we can make Okay, so I read into all of these. And I know which ones I want. I definitely want speed, and I definitely want something that can slow people down, like snare. So to do that, I'm going to need a cobweb, which is a little tougher. But speed, luckily, all I need is a minecart. So that's going to be the next one we make. So let's go ahead. Let's do that. And we're going to make ourselves some of this stuff. Let's go ahead and let's throw in our magic clay. And then we're going to throw in our minecart here. There we go. And you see it's going to press, and it's going to give us our speed spell. So we can move around a little faster, I'm assuming. Boom. And we've now unlocked the glyph of speed. So now we have a speed spell. Let's go to force slot and let's create we want to do speed so let's try this out and you're gonna see i now have speed for 30 seconds it's only speed one but that's pretty good okay let's see what other ones we can make now that we've accidentally used you know horse and stuff we want to go ahead and next we want to either get snare which is going to be tough because we obviously don't can't get the cobweb or we can get launch because launch allows me to launch them up in the air. And all I need for that is a rabbit hide. And luckily, rabbits do spawn in the desert. There's so many bridges in this. Do you uh, think I, if I see him, if you crouch, he won't be able to see you. Oh, right, he, right he has no clue. He doesn't, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Yeah. Oh, I see his magic oh, oh, harvester. <gasps> oh, he's looking this way. You blow up his, oh. his, his crop field, okay? And then you run out there and start making like a mess. I'll go grab his glyph press, okay? All right, on three. Three. Attack! Oh, yo, people are here. Wait, what? Wait, what? Dude, he just blew up my... He showed up while I was doing setting up. Okay, well, hold on. Speed? Wait, wait, we have range attack. Let's get him. Wait, what? What's he, how's he blowing things up? Oh, I hit him once? That means someone else is here. There's no way he's alone. Where's the other one? I hit him again. God, he has an explosion spell. I need to keep my distance. Hold on. Where's my other spell book? I got an idea. I got an idea. Oh, no, no, no. The other one's here. I launched him. No. Ah, get back here. No. He, I can't let him get away. Oh, watch out. I don't have enough mana. I need to let him recharge. Oh, he got me. Okay, here we go. Ready? I'm killing him. Oh, he's, hit, he's being hit by his teammate. Oh, come on. I'm out of mana. No. Get out of here, you. Ah! Okay, I'm on the roof. I'm on the roof. That's actually good. That's good. That's good. Nice. Bring him to me. Oh, yeah. Ooh, back off. Oh, I'm low. I'm low. I'm low. Wait, wait. Summon my horse. Summon my horse. Summon my horse. Summon horse. Hop on. Run. We're gone. Uh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Go back. We're definitely not low. We're definitely doing just fine. All right. Let's, let's stop his crops. So. Okay, let's go back in. We can go back in. Let's go back in. Okay, here we go. Let's get him with the horse. Wait, what? He's back? He's back, dude. He's back. Come on. Yes, we killed one. Oh, the other one. He's got to run. Nice. I got them both. I got them both out of my house. Oh, dude, they took all my stuff. They took... Oh, no. They, I got a bunch of it on me. They got some of my stuff, though. Did they get my glyph press? No, man. Oh, they messed up the farm, too. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, with what we have, let's see if we can create some super strong spells to get our glyph press back, which means maybe I should make another glyph press because having two glyph presses isn't a bad idea. Create double the amount of glyphs. I gotta find it fast, and I, I have no clue where it is, but I gotta find it and get that glyph press back. On days 12 to 16, I went ahead and went mining for some diamonds, as I was afraid of getting killed at the enemy base. I got enough to make a diamond sword and some boots, and now was ready to go find the enemy mages. On day 16, I decided to see if I could locate the enemy mage's base, so I looked around the area knowing that it couldn't be too far off. And sure enough, on day 23, I found it. With my new spells in hand, it was time to get my revenge. Okay, so I've made my way back to the magical trees. I saw these earlier. Here we go. 
we go. You slow fall here. It's so nice. And then you can just launch myself. And I'll float. Look at that. It's so OP, dude. I can basically use this stuff. Oh, I see them. They just spawned on my mini-map. <gasps> they have a tower right there. Oh, my base is up here. So they're actually not that far. I could get my glyph back right here. Let's go. Let's get in the air. Above. Okay, here we go. Let's grab it. We gotta be quick. Here we go. Insta-pick. Oh, God. Come on. Insta-pick work. It's not working. Got it back. Here we go. Get ready to teleport. Ready? And we're gone. We're gone. Let's go. I wonder what's happening to their base right now. Bro, we have enough for it. Why, why aren't we making... Do you hear that? Oh, my God. Wait, what? Yo! Oh. No! Wait. That has to be oh. Ryan. That has to be Ryan. I... <laughs> what just happened? I got the glyph table back and I... T Oh, one of them just died. Let's quickly sort some stuff and let's head back. Let's head back. Let's head back. <laughs> oh, he says, you think you're funny, don't you? Oh, I do. I do. Oh, they're not even that far from me, but they know where I am. So I'm probably gonna have to pack up my base soon and move. They know where I am and they're definitely gonna get their revenge. And I don't want this to be a match where we are just destroying each other's bases. No, no. I want to see how far I can progress my magic skills to see if I can truly survive the hundred days. After attacking the enemy mage's base, I returned to my own and started packing it up fast. After attacking them, I'm sure sure they were going to want revenge so it was time to move bases packing up didn't take that long and i only took what i needed for a single trip out of there okay so my tower base is kind of complete i made a very cruddy staircase and if i go down the tower i obviously get over to all my chests which has all my important stuff that i brought with me but the first thing we got to do is obviously set up a farm next let's get that working And the farm is almost complete. Now we just need seeds and we're going to put down our magic stuff. It does take up one of our spots, but that's okay. Put that right there. Throw this agronomic thing right on top. There we go. Okay, so finally the base is fully complete and operational. I can now make spells again inside the glyph. Let's honestly sleep. We haven't done any sleeping yet up to this point. Uh, did I not bring a bed? Well, I guess we're gonna have to get sheep and make a bed. I guess we're not sleeping yet. But normally I'd want to sleep right now. This would be the perfect chance to start fast forwarding some time away. So you know what? That's what we're gonna do. Let's go. Let's make our way back up to one of the villages we found. Now that we know where the villages are, it shouldn't be too, too bad. It'll only take us about a day to do. So yeah, let's go back up to one of the villages and Let's go get a bed back. I'm out of here. Let's go get ourselves a bed. And so I traveled throughout the night of day 28 and all through day 29 just to get a bed on day 30. Mine. And I didn't arrive back at my base with the bed until the night of day 32. And we're back on, what are we on? Day 30, well, night 32. Let's go set up our bed and then we can sleep. Now it can become day 33. Let me just go set up a, a safety door. Good night and good morning, day 33. Here's the deal, farm's doing good, mana jar's already full, so it doesn't really make a massive difference. Either way, it is time to go ahead and start working on upgrading the base. You see, because in its current state, if they attack, things are gonna get destroyed again. So since I'm on an island, I think I'm gonna build a wall around the entire island to help keep this place more safe. I want to eventually set a bunch of traps so that way if they try to attack me, all they're gonna do is hurt themselves. So step one of my plan, let's get a wall around this base. Okay, so let's set up some of the perimeters of the wall. We're gonna make our wall at least five high. Okay, perfect, we got all that placed. Okay, everything else is being turned into planks for now. And then we just fill in the wall. Okay, cool, the wall is complete and it's still night of 33, so we're doing pretty good on time on the wall. Okay, perfect. The base is all lit up and complete. Cool. So with that, the base is now in a good spot. It's lit up. We got walls around. Now we can start working on magic stuff without having to worry about being sneak attacked. All right, let's go to bed. Day 34. After my base upgrades were complete, I now needed to focus on upgrading my magic to better fight off the two evil mages that were chasing me. To do this, I started to study runes, which are traps that I can place on the ground that activate insane spells if stepped on. Okay, so today is day 37, and I gotta start setting runes and traps around the base. But to do that, there's still some steps I need to do. And luckily, I already have a couple of them set up. I basically made these magic seeds that I'm growing right here, which allow us to get this thing right here, which is called spell parchment. Four source gems with blank parchment, which is just made with paper and mage bloom fiber. But to get the mage bloom fiber, I needed these plants. And to get these plants, I had to do all of this. Now you're fully caught up. Okay, so let's go and let's make that parchment. We are going to take this piece of paper and surround it in Mage Bloom. There we go, we now have Spell Parchment. And now I can go ahead and put a spell onto the Spell Parchment 
by putting it on this table, and then I can attach that to a rune, which I can place anywhere around my base on the ground, and if they step on it, it's gonna activate. It's gonna be crazy. But to do that, I first need to get one more spell. And there should be a spell called rune. Here it is. So to make it, I need to get some magic clay, and I need to get a tripwire hook. So pretty straightforward. Iron, we got ourselves some tripwire hooks. And we're gonna go ahead and get our magic clay. Now we're gonna take our magic clay and our tripwire hook. There we go, throw that right there. Yep, throw the tripwire hook in. It took some source from the jar and bada bing, bada boom. We now have the Glyph of Rune. Let's learn it. And now we can go ahead and put Rune into it. So first let's go into our novice spell book and let's create a spell that creates Rune and let's try it out. So let's go into our book. You're gonna see we have a new one called Rune right here. So let's do, this could kill me here. I'm warning in advance. Here we go, ready? Launch. Oh, I put so many in. Okay. Oh, oh, boom, fault. Oh, <laughs> that almost killed me still. So let me go ahead and put our spell parchment right here. We're gonna shift right click it with our launch spell. We've now set the spell into the parchment. So we'll take that back. Okay, we'll just put it right here. Now let's go ahead and let's attach our thing to it. So here we go, we, we, we put it on, spell is set, and you'll notice it does not take the parchment. It, I can just set it to the rune. So I can set this rune around in several different locations. So let's go ahead, let's test this out. Let's bait, I want the creeper. Let's bait the creeper. There you go, come on. Yes, there we go, look at that. Oh, he went so flipping high. Where, where'd he go? Is he just never coming back? I don't think he's coming back. And now I think we hide a bunch of these launch spells in and around the area. So that way, if we get attacked, they might step on it. Here we go. So the thing is, if they come up here to the balcony, let me set some runes here. So we'll go, every one of these is gonna be launched. Oh dude, that's gonna be really bad if they step on that. Okay, there's a bunch of launch spells in their base. That's gonna, that's definitely gonna get them. Let's go sleep, let's make it day 38. And now let's work on getting some tier two spells. So that way, if they do attack, we're gonna have even stronger spells than they do. And there we go. Good morning on day 38. It's time to work on some tier two spells because now we got our trap set up. But let's see what we can get. We can get everything from explosion to gravity. I don't know exactly what all this does, but I think it's really, really important. So we want to get some of these. So let's go ahead. Let's get our next spell book, shall we? So for the next one, we need what is called the Mage's Spellbook. Now to make the Mage's Spellbook, we need to get a Novice Spellbook, combine it with an Obsidian, three diamonds, two blocks of quartz, and two blaze rods, which means we have to go to the Nether in order to get this upgrade. And we haven't been there yet. So that's gonna be our next step in getting to level two. So we're gonna go ahead and make a Nether portal, get to the Nether, get all the supplies we need. And then from there, we can get our Mage's Spellbook, which will allow us to cast tier two glyphs, which is gonna give us even stronger spells. So that's gonna be absolutely massive. Massive. It took me nearly five days of gathering supplies to get everything I needed for my level two spell book. I started by going around to the nether, where I quickly was able to get quartz and blaze rods from a nearby fortune. Once I finished that, I went back to the overworld and started exploring some caves and quickly came across the diamonds that I needed. Now with everything in hand, it was time to start casting some stronger spells. Okay, cool. Let's put all the supplies in and let's make this level two book. Here we go, let's get, yo, Jose's here. I see a name, I see him, I see him. Look at him, he's right up front of the red castle. They've enchanted diamond armor? Oh no. He's going, oh, launch, please launch. Ah, oh my God, he launched, he launched, <laughs> look at him. All right, all right, I'm back at, uh, back at our old base. Oh, I see his name. <laughs> yo, all right, all right. I'm gonna plan a sneak attack. I'm just gonna get inside. Oh my. That was funny. Okay, where was I? Boom. We got the next spell book. We're coming for you. Don't worry. I'll set more traps. Oh, dude, you can't believe they fell for that. Anyway, here we go. So we have the level two spell book. Now it's not going to make a major difference except for it's going to increase our mana and give us access to the tier two spells. So let's go over how we make a tier two spell and let's find one that we want to go ahead and use. Okay, so we're going to learn a new spell simply called explosion and we're going to set explosive runes all around. So if they step on them, instead of just launching them, it's going to explode and be super obvious for me to hear. Let me go ahead and show you how we're going to do this. Boom, we got a magic clay. Now we can upgrade this just by simply using a source gem, a gold, and two lapis. We take the gold and we take one of these and then we just combine it with this regular clay and we now have a marvelous clay. Now all we have to do is get a piece of TNT and now what we're going to do is we're going to put the marvelous clay alongside a TNT and we should get the explosion spell. Marvelous clay, TNT, presses it, and now we have the explosion spell. So let's learn Glyph of Explosion. We now officially have a new attack. Let's make an explosive attack. So we're gonna make this a projectile with a bunch of explosions afterward. 
Not enough mana. So I have to remove some explosions. Five. Oh, that worked. But you'll notice that didn't actually make a big explosion. Is that the same as one? Man, explosion's not that good. Spider. Okay, spell set. He got evaporated. It doesn't do like a big explosion wit, but it seems to do a lot of damage. Let's set a few of these inside their base because that's definitely gonna catch them off guard. There we go. Now we have some explosions set at their base. So when they walk in, there's traps there. Now we're just gonna go ahead and get some things to amplify them and change them up. So let's quickly get back in the base and let's sleep and then we'll figure out everything else on day 46. Okay, day 46. Let's see what we can go ahead and do. Now let's see what spells we wanna get next. So let's open up our trusty dusty orange book and let's see what we want. I think if we combine some of the tier one stuff and the tier two stuff, we can do some really cool stuff. Amplify here and amplify is really good. If we just give it one diamond, we can actually increase the harvest level of break and increases the damage of spells. So let's go ahead and let's get Amplify. So we'll throw that in there. Throw one diamond in there. Nice. So now we just get to test out how Amplify works. Let's start doing some testing over on our testing field. Let's try this out. So if we open up our spell book, you'll see we now have an augment called Amplify. Okay, all right, let's potion up. <laughs> You're all flying right above him. He has no clue. He has no idea. Yeah. All right, I got my gust ready. All right, let's get him. Let's get him. <laughs> Yo, surprise! Surprise! <laughs> oh, oh, I'm under attack. Yo, they're here. They're, I'm under attack. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, they're trying to attack me. Hold on, I need to, I need to get my spells ready. Oh, they're trying to get me. I can vault away. We're good. Are they still behind me? Oh yeah, they are. I can't let them take my stuff. I need to go in there and kill whoever's taking my stuff. Let's lead them in here real quick. I'm gonna use my own launch thing to save myself. Ready? Here we go. You can't hold me still. He tried to use a slow spell on me, but it didn't work. He's going this way. I see him. I got to attack them. They just took stuff from my base. Killed him. Oh, I killed him. Yes. Sit down. What did they take? They didn't take my spell. They took whatever was over here. They damaged. So they damaged my pedestals. I'll have to make new pedestals. What? And they took my scribe table. They're back. He's here. He tried to blow up my base and die in doing it too. Sit down, dude. Worth. They're just, they just did damage to their base for no reason. Oh, dude. Okay. Their spells do nothing against my diamond armor though. I know that that spell is definitely my best range attack now. That's killing them in like two to three hits. Oh, that's annoying though. Okay. We have to do so many repairs. On days 47 to 49, I spent the time repairing my base and recreating all of the items that were stolen. Now I can focus on what's important, getting tier three spells. It's time for my revenge. Okay. So everything's kind of back in order it doesn't look as good but we got at least we got the pedestals back we got the scribing table back everything is at least repaired but i think that pretty much told us what we needed to know which is that we need to have a lot better spells and we need to have it quick because they were really overpowering me because they caught me off guard and i didn't even know how to react and didn't have any of my spells properly set up so we're gonna go ahead and try and get the tier three arch mages book to make it i need a totem of undying i need a wilden tribute and a nether star i'm not really worried about the emeralds or the ender pearls those aren't overly difficult. I just need to find a mountain biome for those. But I need to do this if I want to get to these tier three spells. And the tier three spells are absolutely ludicrous. I can do a tier three spell with lightning and explosion and then amplify both of those. So it's shooting both spells at once. So basically it's like an exploding lightning shot that should one shot. At least that's my plan anyway. There's also this split thing here, which causes multiple projectiles to be cast at once. So it shoots out multiple spells. But today we're going to focus on just creating the best spells we can with the spells that we have. Both of them are getting really creative with their spells and had tons of different ones. So we need to start coming up with spells that are gonna allow us to move fast, that are gonna allow us to attack fast, and are gonna allow us to disappear from range really fast. So this is gonna be really tough, but I think we're gonna get this to work. Okay, so I went ahead and reorganized my spells and I added a couple more that I think are really going to help. So here are our new spells. So starting in our first spell slot, we have the same one we had, long range digging, hasn't changed. Then we have a ranged attack that now has explosion built into it. On top of that, we have launch, which is now a stronger version of our vault, but I still like vault to help me land. This launches me way up in the air. Not as good as one that we're coming up on soon. I'll show you in a sec. Moving on to the next one, we have speed, which will give us speed six. We have insta pick, which obviously does that. Then we have explosion, which um, I'm gonna aim that over there for obvious reasons. 
that explodes things. Then we have Leap. This one, you'll see, launches me extremely far really fast, but uses a ton of mana. So we want to be very careful using this, and I'll use Vault to slowly guide myself to the ground using that one. And that one's going to help us moving <laughs> and getting away from them insanely quick. And then my new favorite one is Snare, which should stop them from moving once I hit them with the spell. And when they stop, I can hit them with my attack spell just afterwards. So we're in a pretty good spot. So basically, I go to 8 quickly hit X just a few times and we're in the attack one and I hit them with the range attack and we should be able to kill them and that's just using the spells that we currently have we're obviously gonna get the level 3 spells next starting on day 51 so to upgrade my spell book to be able to use level 3 spells I needed a ton of really insane items first I need a nether star from a wither second I need a totem of undying and finally I needed a wilden tribute whatever that was anyway I was gonna aim to get the nether star first as of the items listed I felt this one would be the easiest to obtain belt is over here here. That's so that'll that should, that should give us more. We only need two more of these skulls. So let's just oh nice. We got one and we didn't get a third one. We didn't get a third one, but we got two. We got two. We got two. We just need one more. Okay, we should get away from more wither skeletons. This is fine. We need to get a leg up on Ryan, all right. Now we have nice and fancy like diamond gear going on here, right? Yeah, and we got a moose. Yeah, don't get me wrong, the diamond gear is cool enough, but we're not really like mage tastic right now. You know, we're not like no, nah, it feels like vanilla Minecraft. You know, what I'm thinking is we get ourselves some wizard armor. And how do we do that? That's what these mage bloom seeds are for, okay? They're going to grow up and become fibers. After we get that, uh, we combine it with blaze powder, which I went ahead and grinded some. And then after we combine it with blaze power, we need to combine it with popped cores fruit, okay? Which we can only get in the end. So do you see where Ooh. I'm going? Oh, oh. Did he drop it? Nope. Okay, this is gonna be a long game. This is gonna take a while. It took another two full days of killing wither skeletons till I got the last skull I needed, and now I had the three to summon the wither. I needed to find a safe place to spawn this thing, though, as I didn't want it to wreak havoc on my base. Okay, so with all the wither supplies in hand, uh, we gotta go pretty much all the way away from our base, because we don't want this wither to uh, accidentally destroy our entire base. So let's get far away from our base. So I think over here in this island should be fine. Over this way should be good. This is pretty far from my base, so spawning a wither here should not lead to the destruction of my base. Now let's get ready with our attacks and then we're gonna go ahead and simply soul sand and activate this. So let's spawn this thing. One, two, three, four. And then we just gotta go one, two. And now I gotta be very careful here because I think there's an explosion the second I do this. Three, okay, and go, go. Here we go, we gotta fight this thing now. Let's try it. Duh, 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 duh. Wait, did you hear that? Wait, what was that? Oh, Ryan summoned a wither. <laughs> it says it in chat, withering heights. We got to one up him. We're going to the end. Come on. Come on, we got to hit it. Nice. We hit it twice. If I keep backing up, it's not hitting me in the water. I just keep moving like this. Oh my God, this is OP. I have an idea. Every time I hit him, we can use our launch. There we go. Launch. Back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. We, need, we need, definitely need to heal. So let's dive. 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 Why am I not diving? What the heck was that? Get him again. Vault. And go. Nice. We got him almost down to half. We're slowly bringing him down. Oh, he got me. He got me good. That went through him. That little... Oh, I spy. Yo, they're going to the end. Okay. I got to fight this wither and kill it quick. Come on. There we go. Once. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Above me? What the... Missed. Oh, that totally should have hit. Come on. We almost have him dead. We're, we almost got him beat. I should have set some rune traps when he spawned. That would have been really good. No way. Nice. There we go. We got him that time. Oh, he got me. Nice. We got him once. Where is he? Ooh, we almost got him. Oh, we stunned him. Let's go! I see the star. I see the star. Dive, dive, dive. Why am I not diving? There it is right there. Look at it. I got it. Let's go. We beat the wither. I cannot believe we actually beat the wither. That puts us in a great spot because now we need to just focus on getting the other items and then we can get to the Archmage's book. Okay, let's go sleep and make it day. And then we're going to go ahead and start working on the next thing. And good morning on day 58. So I, I haven't seen anything about the Ender Dragon being defeated in chat. So I don't think they've defeated the Ender Dragon quite yet. We now need to start working on getting the next part that we need for the Archmage's book or the level three mage book, spell book thing. So we have the star. We obviously have that. The Ender Pearls and the Emeralds are easy. So we really just have to focus on getting the Totem of Undying and the Wilden Tribute. The next thing I want to focus on is the Totem of Undying. Because this is going to be tough because I have to find a Woodland Mansion and defeat an Evoker. It's not going to be easy. This is going to take a while. It took me nearly six full days to finally find a Woodland Mansion. But once inside, I quickly found an Evoker and started fighting it. Okay, so they finally found a Woodland Mansion. It's right up here. You can see it on the mini-map. I won't lie. I had to go so far for this. If it wasn't for Leap, this would stink. This would stink really really bad but luckily it doesn't stink really bad because uh, oh someone blew up already i'm gonna break his thing dude this is gonna be so easy <laughs> <laughs>
Good thing they set their spawn. We're currently on the thing. We need to find the Invoker. We need to kill him to get his Totem of Undying. Let the battle begin, because we're going to have to fight these dudes. Okay. Coming through. Oh. You die. Oh, Ooh, I saw him. That's him. I, I saw Totem. I saw Totem fall. There it is. I got it. I got it. Nice. We got a totem. Let's go. Dude, that's going to be so useful. I dude, I think I saw a second one drop, though. Let me see. Because if I do, that's going to be really OP for the final fight. I think I saw a second one fall. I did. I did. I did. I knew coming back was the right idea. Oh, my God. We have won for the fight, and we have won for the crafting recipe. Let's go, dude. And with the Evoker defeated, I just needed to get the Wilden Tribute, and I could upgrade my spell book to level three. Yeah, get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah, he's almost done. He's almost done. One more hit. Oh. Oh my god, why is he attacking me? I didn't even look at you. There we go. In day 65, they've just defeated the dragon. They're probably doing it so they can get Chorus Fruit, which is going to allow them to get Archmage gear. This gear is almost as good as Netherite armor. All they need is a popped Chorus Fruit to turn the Blaze Fiber into End Fiber and make those. And then you just have to combine them just like normal armor. You just need 24 of them. If I can find their End Portal, I don't even have to fight the dragon. I can just go and get the stuff to make these. But I'll worry about that later because first things first is finishing up what we started and getting the Archmage's spell book. And the reason I bring that up is because we have almost all of the supplies necessary we have the totem of undying now so all we really need left is one more item and that's the wilden tribute and to get it i need to summon a wilden chimera you'll see if i go to the summoning section there's something called the tablet of summon wilden if i get all of these ingredients which i already have some of I just put them in, into this crafting recipe and I get a tablet of summon Wilden. When I augment it with all the right ingredients, this ritual will actually summon a Wilden Chimera, which apparently says it's challenging and destructive. So we'll see how that goes. And then I also need to make what's just simply called a summoning Brazier. So that's not too difficult. Let's go first, gather the supplies we need to summon the Wilden, then we'll get the Brazier to summon it and we'll go summon it and fight it. It took me two full days to gather all of the Wilden supplies necessary to summon the Chimera. Most of the stuff I found inside of the temples, but was able to kill one of the Wilden bats for its wing. I just checked, we're on day 69. It turns out that I need to make a summoning brazier. So let's go ahead, let's try this real quick. Now to make this is pretty simple. I just need to make one of the pedestals I've already made, have a source gem block and three gold. Now let's go put the ritual brazier down because this also does require magic from this. So we're gonna just put this in a straight line against this wall right here. So for this piece to work, I think I need to actually make the ritual. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Let's You see, I now have a tablet of summoning Wilden, and this is gonna be consumed on use. So I need to be very careful. I'm also afraid that if I do it here, it's gonna spawn the thing here. So let's actually go ahead, let's insta-pick this and take this with us. And now let's also go ahead and let's take our jar of mana and bring that with us as well. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's summoning. Oh, it's the, <gasps> there it is. Ooh, what is that? It's like a guardian. It's shooting through the wall, though. Oh, it's just spawning a bunch of wielded stuff. Oh, God. Run. Oh, I'm out of mana. Oh, God. We'll just stand up. We'll stand up. I, I don't get it. I, I don't think anything else is spawning. I definitely killed the thing. Oh, oh, I found it. We did. We have the wielding tribute. And now it's nighttime on day 69. So let's go back to the base. Let's sleep. Make it day 70. And then we just have to gather up some emeralds and ender pearls. Then we can upgrade my book to level three. So let's quickly head home and sleep. It is now day 70. So we have all the ingredients needed to make this level three book, except for emeralds and except for ender pearls. So let's just store up our stuff. We're actually only one emerald short, I believe. So we just need to go find one singular emerald, and then we just need to find some ender pearls. So that's not going to be too tough because I already know where I'm going to get the ender pearls because I'm going to make my way to the end where they just defeated the dragon. I can get the ender pearls by killing some endermen. I can get enough of the chorus fruit to then make myself archmage's armor, which is just as good as netherite. And then I'm going to be pretty much the strongest mage you can possibly be. I really wish I brought food. I really wish I brought my food. Oh, yo, yo, right here, right here. There we go. We got the one emerald we needed. Perfect. Okay, let's return back to the service. And now let's go get some ender pearls. Is the end. Okay, here's the thing. I don't know where their current base is. I think it's got to be in this village somewhere. Just based on the fact that it looks kind of like used. But I'm going to threaten them like I am at their base. Pretend I'm there and see if I can get the cords out of them. So let me see. I'm going to, let me type the following. They hit near your base. Tell me the end coordinates or I will blow it up. Oh, bro. Are you kidding me? Wait, what? 
You're bluffing. He's gonna blow us up, bro. Dude, okay, no. Do I'm, we want it? Yeah. I, I don't. I don't. Think I this is just worth it. cleared my my spell book of spells, so I don't know how. Well, we already like looted the end and we killed the Nether Dragon. I threatened to take all their bloom. That's definitely gonna make him make him give it to me. Okay. Yeah. No. I I just I just nah. deleted all my spells because I want want a fresh book. So I don't want to take the risk of our. Yeah. We we looted the whole place. All right. He's gonna have a real hard time finding Lytra and stuff. Okay. So. Yeah, no, I, I got like, I have, I actually have extra elytra on. Yes. Oh, they're giving it to me. Yes. Okay, there it is. X negative nine, four, four, negative five, four, oh, eight. Cool. I got the coordinates. So now we just have to, let's go ahead. Let's head on over there to those cords. The sun appears to be starting to go down. We should be able to get there by the end of the night. Okay. So let's just go ahead. Let's get going. Let's make our way to this place. We can use launch to get there really fast or leap. Excuse me. There we go. Oh, no, it is here. Look, they weren't lying. Now we just got to find the portal. Okay. This is going to be the hard part. Either it's going to be found really fast or gonna take forever oh this door is open that's a good sign they've definitely been through this way oh no it's literally right here here we go i found it okay we're here to get the chorus fruits that we need we're also here to uh get some ender pearls so let's do it let's set up an enderman killing nest real quick and just kill a few of them <laughs> Okay, we got four ender pearls. So that's all the ender pearls we need. So from here, let's go teleport in. We actually got an extra two. So let's go teleport ourselves over here into this thing. Let's put one of these to the side. Here we go. Let's throw an ender pearl in. There we go. We're through. They definitely came through here. I can't see which direction they went, but we just need the chorus fruits. So let's go ahead and let's get some of those. Let me just cut a few of these down. This will give me plenty to make this archmage stuff because... I want to have enough to make a full set. So let's just make sure we get at least a stack of this stuff. Okay, we definitely have enough to make the Archmage stuff. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's get out of here. Let's fly back to our thing. It is the morning of day 71 as I'm returning, it looks like. So that's actually really good timing. Let's go ahead and let's start crafting the Archmage's Spellbook. Boom, we got an Archmage spell book. Oh my God, we have the level three spell book. Let's go, dude. And now we can even start looking to get some level three armor. Now that we're a level three mage and have access to level three spells, we can get pretty crazy with this. So if we go to the tier three spells, we can now do lightning. We can do, as an example, split, which allows us to cast multiple at once. We can do wither, which is going to apply the wither debuff. There is so much that we can do to people. It's amazing. Now let's go ahead and start looking at some of the armors we can make alongside the spells. Because right now, iron armor ain't going to cut it. They already have enchanted diamond. I need to focus on getting my armor up and fast. Alongside getting spells. So I should be able to get the armor and some of the stuff for the spells today. But the armor, I can definitely finish today. So all I need to do is quickly run to the nether, grab some blaze rods. Nice, we lift, we lift. Woo, that was close. Okay, we got the blaze rods we need. Okie dokie, let's see what we can craft. So let's grab as much bloom as we can from our bloom field. So let's grab the bloom from the chest. Oh, oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We got, yeah, we got stack plus 14. Let's see what that can get us. So if we want to make archmage robes, we need to obviously make end fiber. To make end fiber, we need blaze fiber. And to make blaze fiber, we basically need to put blaze powder into two of the mage bloom fibers. So let's go ahead, let's do that. Now let's go ahead, let's turn our blazes into blaze rods, which gives us 36 total. And let's go ahead and let's split these in half like so, and then split these in half like that. There we go. And you'll see we now have 60 of these blaze fibers. Now we're gonna go ahead and smelt up some of our chorus fruits. We're gonna put some chorus fruit in there. There we go. And now let's just combine what we have. Put these here, put these here, and boom. We now have 20 of these end fibers. So we can actually go ahead and make ourselves archmage robes. We can make ourselves archmage leggings and an archmage hood. Let's throw this on because it's better than the gear we're wearing now. And let's try it out. Oh, look at that. I just need the boots. So we literally just need a, a few more. That should be more than enough. Let's go put them in. There we go. And that's going to be enough for our boots. And we are done. We actually overkilled it by a lot. This is great news. We have extremely good armor, extremely good weaponry inside of our thing. And now we can make level three spells. So after looking at all the, all the level three spells, there's two in particular that I really, really want. I really, really want lightning, which I need the heart of the sea for. And I really, really want split because it allows me to shoot multiple projectiles at once which is really good sun's going down we'll wait till the sun's down we'll sleep in bed and on day 71 we're gonna go ahead wait and then on day 72 we're gonna go gather up as many of the supplies as we can to make
make those spells happen. And then we're going to activate those spells, put them in our book, and then make as many amazing spells as we can. Because I'm sure that an attack from the evil mages is imminent. I had no idea how to get the heart of the sea. But luckily, with a quick Google search, I found out that they can spawn inside of shipwrecks. So I went around to eight different sunken ships till I finally found a heart of the sea. And with it now in my hands, I can now get the level three spell, Lightning. Additionally, I found a water temple during this time. I was able to get a prismarine shard. So now I can also make the Fang spell. So let's go ahead and make some of these level three spells. Now to do a level three spell, we need what is called mythical clay. Let me go ahead and show you how to make it. So you start by making the magic clay. You upgrade that clay into marvelous clay. And then finally, you need two diamonds, two blaze powder, and a marvelous clay. Now the blaze powder is nice and easy. The marvelous clay is easy. The two diamonds is where this gets tough because I don't know how many diamonds I have left. None. I have none diamonds left. I need to go find at least six diamonds to get all the level three spells I need. And then we'll kind of go from there. Because I think I have a good bit of time. Day 74 just kind of got started. So uh, let's go see what we can find. It looks like right here we got at least three. No way. That exactly six. That worked out great. So I found diamonds in the first couple minutes of looking in that cave. And that, that just made that so fast. Yeah, look, like the sun's barely moved. And I got six diamonds. So let's go and let's start making some clay. Which we split like that. And that gets us three Mythical clay, which is all we need to make the three different spells we want to make. Our first level three has been made, and it is Fang. Glyph of Fangs. Let's activate that. Now put the mythical clay in. Let's do Heart of the Sea, and this is going to be for lightning. And then finally, we throw in the stone cutter. And this is how I learned the split technique. Let's now make some insanely strong spells and then test them out. Okay, good morning on day 75. Okay, I went ahead last night, made a bunch of different spells. Let me just show you a few of them. My first one is called Getaway. It gives me speed and stuff right after, so I can just like launch myself. Nothing too crazy. But let's move on. Next is the range attack, which is simply high damage ranged magic missile. Next is explosion. And you'll see that does an explosion. Then we have leap, which you've seen to get away. Snare, which is just going to ensnare the enemy. And then we have attack number two. Now, this one is, is probably one of my favorite attacks that I made. It's going to make an explosion and lightning. And it also shoots two spells at once. Cool. And then finally for 10, we have lightning fang which is going to basically send out these little attacking things alongside some lightning. We're actually going to go head to the enemy's base and scout it out and basically check things out. You see, it's day 75. There's 25 days remaining, and I feel like if I can get ahead of the issues and destroy their base and destroy their ability to, like, create magic stuff, I'll be able to survive the final 25 days without a single issue. But first things first, we need to find their base and scout it out wherever it might be. It took me four days to find the enemy mage's new base, and the reason it took so long is it turns out that they actually never move bases at all. You see, they left their base kind of broken and damaged to make it look like they didn't live there. But in reality, they were still at the base I blew up over 50 days ago. Okay, so it turns out their base is here. They never move bases. Oh yeah, look, he's literally on top. Should I just blow up their base while I'm here? Hold up. There's something with her. Look at it. There's something with her right now. Sorry, <laughs> this guy doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, we got this, them. man. You got yeah. him. <laughs> 100% I'm blowing up their base. Oh my god, it did so much explosive. Look at it, I'm even in the radius still. Please. Run. Oh, excuse me. Oh, we gotta go. <gasps> Our base. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. You, you're like, oh, the cat's dead. Like, what do you mean the cat's dead? Dude, no. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, get some chests quick. Start getting chests right, going. Right. They're definitely gonna chase me after they take out that wither. So I'm gonna make my way back to my base and I gotta start prepping my defenses because they are definitely gonna murder me now. After attacking the enemy base, I quickly escaped to my base. I knew they were not gonna be far behind. An attack from the enemy mages was likely imminent. So while I waited for their attack, I worked on getting as many spells as I could. In all, I was able to create over 14 different spells and was ready to take on the evil mages. And good morning. Let's go ahead and let Let's start working on some new spells now that we have all the different unlocks figured out. So as you can see, we obviously have a lot more spells to pick from. I went ahead and already did some rearranging of some spells. So I'm going to actually change out speed here and do something even crazier with it. So let's do orbiting around us. If you get too close, you're going to take a bunch of damage. In fact, you're going to take harm, just amplify. So this is a, what I'm going to call defense damage. We also still have two empty slots down here that I haven't done. So we're going to let's make some let's make two new spells that are going to be really, really strong on myself. It's going to to summon a Vex. And then it also does damage when it hits too. Ooh, that's a good idea. And let's see what else we can do. We're gonna simply call this Hex, which is simply going to be a projectile with Hex that is amplified 10 times. I think these are all gonna be so strong. Oh, I definitely wanna blink. This one's gonna be called Blink. So I guess let's try out Blink to make sure this works. So if I create Blink and I use it, 
Yep, there we go. So this gives me the ability to teleport around, which is going to be even better for getting away than anything else. So this is kind of where the battle begins. I guess I just kind of wait for them to show up. In the meantime, what I'm going to work on is building some turrets up which I'll show you real quick. These shoot out spells that I put inside. So I can put them in and around the base and they'll, they'll shoot at them if they have it. But I'm basically just gonna create as many of those turrets as I can until they come and fight us. And then we'll kind of go from there. Oh my God, it's a beefcake. Yo, he runs so goofy. Yeah, it kind of runs like you. You gotta think about it. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Please don't tell me it's a fourth stage. Yeah, what is this? Oh, we got the Wilden Tribute. Let's go. Perfect. That, that's what we need for one spell book. <laughs> yeah, we need to kill another. <laughs> dead? Yeah, dead. we did it. Oh my God. Okay, we got two. We of them saved now. the city. I just realized we need to kill another wither. What? Oh. We're going to split this up. You find a mansion, and I'll, since I have the looting sword, I'll get more wither skulls. All right, I'm going to go set out on my journey to find those mansion. Okay, so it turns out those turrets are going to be actually probably too hard to set up in the time I need to. Instead, we're gonna set up traps around our base. They should fall for some of these. If they land on them, should smite them a bunch and stuff like that. So we're gonna put them all in our base. So if they come near our chests, they're gonna face this wrath. So nice and easy. We're gonna be pretty much not going in our base from here on out. Put a bunch of traps in here. We have the bottom of the base figured out. Now when they get close, we'll be able to just quickly put down a bunch of these runes. We'll keep another runic chalk on me because I think I have another one in the chest. <gasps> oh, it turned out the second chalk was in my inventory to begin with, so I didn't even have to destroy my base. It's nighttime. It is night 87, so we're going into 88. Let's go to sleep. Uh, okay, I guess we're going to sleep outside today. It's pretty well lit out here anyway. We should be fine sleeping outside because if I sleep in there and get up, I'm literally going to die. And we don't want that. So uh, we're not going to let that happen. We got, we got all our chalk we need. Let's go ahead. Let's sleep. With all my defenses in place, I now just had to wait for the enemy attack. I had to hope all my planning would pay off and help me survive the enemy mage attack that was soon to come. Okay, day 93. So uh, obviously we're still on guard being prepared. They haven't shown up yet. I keep making chalk and just expanding my runes, which is what I'm going to keep doing today. I filled that whole building pretty much full of runes. And then from here, I really don't really know where I could place runes elsewhere that they would fall for maybe along like my wall's edge in case they land on the wall but i just have a funny feeling that's not going to happen the goal would be to bait them into these runes so they do all the damage and then when they come up to attack i can simply just finish them off with a simple attack like using my ranged attack or by using like attack two or snare or one of those i don't think they're coming um they were getting massacred by the Wil wilden beast they may have actually gotten the thing to summon because i don't think mine was the wilder chimera it still dropped the same items i think for doing the summoning ritual but like i didn't actually fight the chimera i don't think but this they definitely did because uh, they kind of got murdered by it a million times. Yeah, these walls ended up being fairly useless because it turns out they could just fly over them. Maybe I could build a dome before they get here and then they can't just fly into my base. I'll need a lot of wood though. Well, I mean, let's get breaking. Now there's almost no way directly in here. You're not just going to find a way in without doing some damage to this place. Now we can actually set more runes around and specifically we'll set them by the area that's easiest to get in and they may not even see it coming. So we'll just set one here, here, and here. And now let's set our paper and put our put a spell on all these and now if they step on those they're in a lot of trouble cool so our our base defenses are set up we're on the night of night 93 they could show up at absolutely any moment and uh we're doing good i'm, I'm going good night okay day 94 perfect well we still have an extra day i guess to keep working on defenses we got a pretty good spot going i guess we could start covering up the farm if we really wanted to okay so i just said the range spell attack oh ooh, unicorns on my mini map saying his house on fire oh Oh, we killed him. We killed him. Where'd the other one go? I see him. I have a plan. I have a plan. <laughs> Just a bunch of decoys. No! Oh my God. <laughs> He's trying to run. He's trying to run. I got a bunch of stuff though. Where'd he go? Was struck by lightning. Oh, my trap got him. Look at that. He fell for the trap. And it, yes, dude. The ruins took him out. We stopped their attack in seconds. In seconds. Oh, I see him on my minimap. They're back. They set a bed nearby. Let me re-vault up here. Chilling up here, I think is what actually kept me alive there. Cause they didn't know where I was. They have no idea I'm in this little box. <laughs> anyway, we let off their attack, so now we're just gonna have to wait for another attack. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I'm willing to wait this out. After defending against the enemy mage's attack, they were starting to run out of time. If they want me to fail this challenge, they would have to defeat me in just two more days. Otherwise, I would be the winner. It is day 99. I've, I I got bored sitting in the hole. I collected most of my farm back up, and I've just been kind of holding on to it. They haven't shown up, but it's the last day they can show up, because if it hits day 100, I literally win. Dude, we gotta kill him. We can't let Ryan win like this i know i know okay i set up beds this time and then let's go down here they're here they're here hold shift hold shift hold shift. i don't see where he went <gasps> they're both coming in they're both coming in hide 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 okay he's blowing up the tower one's in the base oh there's a bunch of them in the base i don't know who's who oh that explosion's hurting me even from a distance that's right this where time he? he's going down no more blame mr nice guy it's the final day we gotta get you out of there okay we killed the unicorn 
Oh, I got hit by lightning. Oh, unicorn's back. Vault, we gotta run before the other one gets us. Oh, we're still alive. Come on, we can stay alive. Oh, we killed him again. Let's go, dude. No! Luke, I'm gonna avenge you. Oh, he hit me good. Oh, he hit me good. We need to fly. I got an idea. I'm gonna bait him in here. I got a bunch of traps set up here. Let's bait him in here. Ready? Go down here. Perfect. Let's hide. Right, get ready to go. Oh, that almost killed me. They made my totem go off. Oh, that was close. No! No, I got stuck down there! Oh, they're coming from over here. Permor just came from over here. Their base is over here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where where did he come from? We need to find beds. There's beds over here. Is it the village? Could be the village. I gotta blow everything up in this place, man. Every building has to go. I don't care. I'm not leaving a single bed. No, we don't have a lot of time left, Luke. It's nighttime. I know. Unicorn died. Unicorn died. Let's see where he spawns. Did he spawn this way? No, uh, no way. No, he, no he way. saw where I spawned from. I can't find out where they're spawning, man. I can luckily use vault forever, but I don't know where. Oh, wait, unicorn died again. Where right there. I see them. I see them. I see them. Oh my god. No, he sees it. He sees it. I hit him. I got him. I got a hit with him. No, he's going for it. He's going for it. No. He blew up he our blew it up. He blew it up. There we go. Beds are gone. Definitely gone now. It's not safe anymore, Luke. Oh, we, we really got to put our all into this last attack. Oh, I killed one. I killed one. No, dude, no. Okay, it's up to me. Oh, we got him good. Oh, we got him really good. How did that not get him? Oh, come on. How's that not hitting him? Oh, wait, did that kill him? Oh, let's go. He's done. Come on. That sun's rising. Let's go. Oh, he's back. Oh, I just need to survive till day 100. Come on. It's not day 100 yet. I'm not taking any risks. Oh, yes. oh there, there it, is. it is. Day 100. That is 100 days as a wizard officially complete. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Leave a like on this video. If we get 20,000 likes on this video, we'll release the mod pack in the description down below. Bye.